Yeah, guys, the fog has really taken over tonight as the search continues for missing four year old Cody Bigsby. It's really the first time since the search began Monday morning that crews have had to deal with less than ideal weather besides the cold. However, they're still doing everything they can using every resource available to them to find Cody. And now, like you said, they've also zeroed in on a person of interest. Where is Cody Bigsby? It's a question investigators are still asking as the search for the missing four year old continues. We are searching frantically for Cody. That was Hampton Police Chief Mark Talbot when the search began on Monday. Now, three days later, police have named Cody's father, Corey Bigsby, as a person of interest. Corey is still with us at police headquarters. He is there voluntarily and he is choosing to answer our questions. Sergeant Reggie Williams with the police division says they're asking the public to tell them anything and everything about Corey. Where he goes, where he shops, who he's with, and what he does. As for the investigation so far, Williams said on Wednesday they are expanding their search. We're going to be checking new areas of the grid that have not yet previously been searched. Monday night, crews were looking through dumpsters in the Buckrow Point apartment complex. Tuesday night, the search moved to the NASA Hampton steam plant. And on Wednesday, a search and dive crew combed through the water near Lafayette Drive. However, police say those areas are just another part of the search and they have since cleared out. And they're also still asking people in the neighborhood to search their own properties. Residents are much more familiar with their own property they would be more likely to spot something uh, that's out of place or suspicious. And at this point, police say this is still a search and rescue mission. However, along with those search and rescue dogs they've had out here all week, they've also brought in cadaver dogs at this point. Live in Hampton, Sarah Hammond, 13 News Now.